Hey guys, Jess here, and welcome to my super awesome, fun time, mostly chill vlog. I've been trying to come up with a really good name for like the kind of like talky vloggy sessions, and that's the best I could come up with. I was gonna do something cute like like tea time or like time with Jess or something, but I just can't think of anything super clever right now. My brain has been fried from all the crazy work on my main channel, and really, I just want to kind of just chill with you guys. So, for these vlogs, I'm thinking of doing them in a certain format, and the format is one, say hi, two, pet cat, because cat seems to always be in my vlogs recently. Um, but the way that I actually want to format these vlogs is I'm, we're going to have like a little one-on-one -on -one random talk time just about anything and everything. Literally, we can talk about YouTube, we can talk about cats, we can talk about um, birds and possibly bees. But we're not, not like that, but you know what I mean. Um, but really, we can talk about anything. It's just a free kind of relaxed environment and that's the way that I want to keep these vlogs for the time being. Maybe later on when things are less hectic on my main channel, we'll do them a little bit more formal, but we're basically gonna do like 10 minutes or 15 minutes of random talk about anything and everything. Um, and then the last like maybe five minutes of the vlog or like one to five minutes will be like a little blurb of something that I did during the week and I put Julia to bed. Uh, my husband and I put our kids to bed and I was in charge of Julia and she runs around with her you'll, you'll see at the end of the vlog. It's super cute Don't skip to that yet because you're, you're talking to me right now, and we're just gonna have a fun time so um, Let's see where do I begin? Well first off um, I am sorry. I haven't posted a vlog in about 15 days today is October 15th when I'm recording this it might go out October 16th, which is tomorrow, um, or it might go out tonight, so we'll see. So just keep an eye on that. But uh, you look like you're so uncomfortable. Like, like you're like he's like super like chill right now, but he just, I don't know, he just looks really uncomfortable to me. But he kinda, I don't know, he, it's, he's just doing his own thing. But yes, so I haven't posted a vlog in a few days, and I do apologize about that. Um, and I keep saying I'm sorry, so I'm just gonna stop after this vlog, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop saying that. It's just, it's really hectic. You know, I've said this multiple times before, even on my main channel, that doing YouTube is incredibly hectic. There's so much work that goes into it, and especially with role plays, so much time and effort goes into role plays, it's not even funny. Um, but, yes, so again, like I said before, vlogs will be going out, like, whenever they can go out. So, yeah. Um, and again, when things settle down, we will get on a regular schedule per week, but I wanted to talk to you guys about what's been going on, um, like in my real life, because I talk about, well, you know what's going on my main channel, it's just role plays and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, but recently, we have, we're going to move to Seattle very soon, um, or Washington State, and I'm really excited about it. I'm really nervous too, like, 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 we're all moving. Me, Jason, Joseph, Julia, Johnny, the cat, uh, he'll be moving too. You just look really uncomfortable like you want to leave. Bah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this blanket on me still. It's my Attack on Titan police blanket. But yeah, so we're moving to Seattle, Washington, and it's all the way across this, the, the state. Like, literally, we're on the East Coast and that's on the West Coast. I can't even fathom how you move from one state to another because when I originally moved from Texas um, to New Jersey, I just like packed up my suitcase and I left because I was 18. I didn't have kids. I didn't have like a whole like a house or anything. I didn't have a car or anything like that. Um, and now it's like there's so much stuff. It's not even funny. It's it's crazy. Um, I have a cat too. Just so you guys know. Are you gonna come back? Back. No, you're just gonna, okay. Yeah, if the camera's moving right now, it's because he's like, said, Oh, I'm just gonna knock down the camera while you're vlogging. Um, but yes, so that's why things have been hectic. That's why things on the main channel have been going out later than they normally are scheduled to go out. So, um, he found his cat treats and he's eating them. You weren't supposed to find those. Sorry, uh, but yes, that's why things on the main channel are going out a little bit later than usual. It's just there's so much going on, and 
it, it's really is just insane. It's crazy. So not only do I have to, you know, do YouTube stuff, but I have my personal life stuff that goes on. And although I post amazingly adorable pictures, or at least I think they're amazingly adorable pictures, um, of like calm moments and stuff, it's like the rest is pretty much hectic. So, yeah. But some fun stuff that I've been doing. Um, obviously it's October. It's Halloween. My birthday's in Halloween. It's October 16th, which is tomorrow or today, depending on when this vlog goes out. But yeah, October is really cool. Not just because it's my birthday, but because Halloween and fall, and I'm pretty sure there's nobody on the planet that doesn't like Halloween or fall. Like, let's, let's just be honest. Like, the moment fall rolls around, all pictures go out. Everyone's like, fall, fall, fall. Like, it's just, it's just, it just happens. I just notice that all the time. Um, and I'm sure you guys notice it too, like there's like, like, you know, everything, how everyone loves Halloween, how everyone loves fall. It's great. It's just a great time of year. One thing that's really great about October is costumes. And for those of you who don't know me very well, um, or do know me very well, I cosplay. And I have cosplayed for, well, since 2000 and, I'm gonna say officially since 2010. Before I kind of cosplayed like little like closet cosplays, like when I, when I say cos clo blah, it's a hard thing to say. When I say closet cosplays, I mean that you just go to your closet and put something that looks like a character on. Um, I officially cosplayed Fran from Final Fantasy XII in 2010, and I made the entire costume myself, except for the wig, of course, and the contacts and and the shoes because I cannot make shoes for the life of me, and I haven't tried, but I just. I'm not even gonna touch that. I like shoes, but I'm not gonna try to make them. It's just, I don't do that stuff. Uh, but, um, I've cosplayed since 2010, and I've done so many characters, mostly from the Final Fantasy franchise. Literally, I've done, um, let's see, I've done Rhinoa from Final Fantasy VIII, Garnet from Final Fantasy IX, Yuna from Final Fantasy X, Amithra from Final Fantasy XI, uh, Fran from Final Fantasy XII, and, yeah, that's my, stop doing that! Cat! No! Do not scratch the carpet! You have a cat tree upstairs. And one down here. Your little one, but not the big one upstairs. Sorry, he likes to just like claw the carpets and we don't. It's not a good thing for him to do that <laughs> on the nice carpet. Yeah, you have a cat tree. A nice cat tree. Go use it. Um. But yeah, so I've been cosplaying for a while and recently I decided that I was going to cosplay again. And for Halloween uh, specifically. And I normally make my outfits from, you know, from scratch, except for my garnet outfit. I can't say that I made that one completely from scratch. Um, but I normally make my outfits from scratch. And this is gonna be the first costume that I've ever bought. You'll see a picture of it on, of the wig, at least, on Instagram. This is Hatsune Miku's wig. Or not really Hatsune Miku's wig, but her hairstyle. Her hair color, I should put it like that. If you're not familiar with who, what? If you're not familiar with who Hatsune Miku is, um, she is a character in Vocaloid, and it's basically just like a music program that is like, it's just become super popular. And you can see right here, I, I happen to like her a lot. And they even have like a little chain of her right here hanging. Um, also, uh, Ross, house owner, likes her too, so something we share in common, and he had like this cute little knickknack of her. It was adorable. Um, but yes, if you don't know who she is, if you want to look her up, take a look. Um, really cute, and I decided that I was going to cosplay it for Halloween. Now, this is the first outfit I've ever bought, and online, and it was like really, really like, it was like $40, and if you're interested in it, I'll put the link below. Um, but it's actually really good. It's really good quality. It's really nice. It came out exactly the way I thought it was. It's very close to the like actual outfit, except for the leggings. They don't come with the leggings or the shoes, so you're out of luck if you want that. But um, and it, it didn't come with the wig. I bought the wig somewhere else. And again, if you want that description below, check that out. But it's the first costume I ever bought online. The um, top needs some work because it doesn't fit me completely. I tried it on, and the bust isn't like cool. Like. It, the bust is too big, like, yeah, it's just not gonna work. Unless I do, like, binding, which is, like, you basically take, like, a, like, a, like, a bandage and, like, wrap it around your chest. Um, but I don't want to do that because it's just, the idea of that is just, like, restricting, I guess. But I may do it for that, but we'll see. I would be, I would spe specify that I would, I bind it too because you don't want people coming back and being like, What happened? You got a boob job or something like that. 
But um, but yeah, so I might alter that myself. I bring that up because way back when, when I used to um, make my own costumes, I was totally against buying costumes back then, which was dumb. Really, it was really dumb. And um, I decided that, you know, I'm, well back then I had time. Now that I'm older and I have like more things to do, I don't have any time. <laughs> So I just bought the costume because I was like, you know what, I want to have fun. And cosplay is fun, and if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it because it is really fun to do. Um, and it's a, it's a really unique experience. Even if you don't like like anime or costuming or stuff like that, I recommend doing it just at least once in your life because it is, it's really fun to be like, um, it's, I'm not gonna lie, the attention is really fun when you go to a convention because everyone notices you. Um, senpais notice you. <laughs> And they, you know, come up to you and they take pictures and, you know, they'll be like, oh my gosh, I, I, I'm a fan of this too. And, you know, so I'd say just do it. Even if you don't know what the anime is, just have fun doing it. And even if you do a costume from an anime you don't know, hey, you learn something new about it and you get to meet fans from it, so you get to learn more. I just think it's a unique experience and give it a shot, really. But don't do it. I mean, I don't think Halloween counts as like, and this is just my own opinion, don't take it seriously. Um, I don't feel like Halloween counts as an official cosplay day because everyone is like in costume and it's just like, yeah, you, you don't, I don't know, it's it's different on Halloween because not many people like notice you the way they do when you go to a convention in a cosplay and it's just really fun. Um, so yeah, that was just my little rant on cosplay that I wanted to do. Um, let's see what else has been going on. What else do I have that I've been doing? Halloween! Just Halloween decorations my desk. This is, this is not real. It's not a real book, but I bought it because it's got a little skull and stuff like that. It was 99. It was 99 cents. That was a Macklemore quote. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what else? Lots of things going on. I, don't worry, this is not wine, as you might think it is, or it's not like an alcoholic beverage. It is a, um, it's Dr. Pepper. I just like it in fancy glass. Dude, let me ask you this. I don't know if, if you're, if you have this obsession like I do, but I love drinking from fancy looking glasses. Like, I got this funny story behind this glass. I got it for free online. I waited three hours during when I was in college uh, on my phone while I was writing an essay and if, it was free. It's, it's just, I had to wait on the phone for three hours for this glass and I love this glass and I've been using it ever since 2000 and 2011 because that's when I got it. Um, but I use it to like drink water, I use it to drink, I don't know, it's just really fancy and it makes me feel fancy. Like I could just, I drink it like this, it's like the best. But yes, let me know if you're one of those people that likes to drink out of fancy glasses. Even though I don't want to put that there because it's advertising and I don't want to, yeah. Anyway, um, oh look who's back! My kitty cat! Hello! Hi! What are you doing? You want to come up here? Come here. Oh look, he's gonna come over here. Come on. Jump. Jump. Jump, 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 jump. Jump. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, he's gonna go. Jump, 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 jump. No, you almost had it. <laughs> he almost did it. He almost jumped up.